action. Action. All right, guys. This is our next month's anniversary gift to ourselves. Our wedding anniversary. We are gonna be what? Twelve years next next month. Yeah. It's gonna twelve be year wedding anniversary. Twelve year wedding anniversary. On August thirtieth. On August thirtieth. This is the holy grail of steaks. Absolute holy grail. Like if you probably if you read the title, I'm sure that's probably why you clicked on the video. Yes, we paid twelve hundred dollars for the whole tenderloin. So filet mignons are one of our favorite steaks. We love it. This is Wagyu A5 tenderloin. The whole the whole kit and caboodle. Um, should you should you tell them the story <laughs> of uh, how this came about of how we first tried Wagyu? Yes. And so our first attempt uh, at Wagyu is when we went to go buy our Airstream. We stayed at the Sheraton near Los Angeles. We stayed there for the night. We were waiting to go pick up the uh, Airstream the next morning. And the restaurant had, uh, I mean, the, the hotel had a restaurant. So we decided to go have dinner for the night. We hadn't eaten all day. We were hungry. And lo and behold, they had Wagyu steak. You know, A5 Wagyu. It was pretty expensive. It was like, they sold them in five ounce medallions or cubes. And it was $150 per steak. And both of Heather and I have one. But that is an experience eating that hands down. Ever since we've had that, we've been on the hunt for a Wagyu steak at steakhouses. At steakhouses, yeah. And we've been to a few where they call it Wagyu, but it's not A5 Wagyu. So uh, with Wagyu steaks, uh, they are classified by the marbling of how much fat's in, inside the meat. So there's A5, A7, and, and then they have Prime, I believe. We actually had Prime the other night here in Waco, which is about $60 a steak. Just okay. I have my, my filet mignons out of uh, uh, Whole Foods or um, HEB was way better than this was, but these right here, the holy grail of steaks. So, so how, did, how did you come about this place? Um, I just did some Google searching. Uh, I searched Google search A5 Wagyu, found this company called the Wagyu Shop. They were out of California. Um, we were going to check to see if we could pick it up from them while we were out there, but we, we're, we're coming to Texas, just decided it's free shipping, so we figured we would just order it anyway. We are not going to be cooking it today. What we're going to be doing is unboxing it, showing you everything that comes in it, how it's shipped to you. We are also going to be cutting it up. So we're going to be portioning it out, and we bought a vacuum sealer a vacuum sealer with vacuum bags today so we could seal it up really good and get it in the freezer because this is enough meat to feed us probably a good 10 meals i'm guessing but we'll find out we'll hopefully find for out. the price <laughs> yeah yeah 1200 bucks for steak i know you guys probably think we're absolutely nuts but, but this is our this is our thing every year on our anniversary we always like to go out to a really really high-end style restaurant the kind that gordon gordon ramsay has you know those really high-end chef type of restaurants so um this year with the covid and everything going on and we just thought you know what let's give it a shot so let's open up I want to open it already oh my gosh I'm so excited to get it I've been tracking it like all morning <laughs> so it did come by FedEx uh, we ordered it when would you order it Tuesday Tuesday they, they shipped, shipped it out, out yesterday, yesterday afternoon and it got here today FedEx yeah yep. now it comes of course they got it in a styrofoam box now, ooh, it comes with like a whole envelope letter. Mm. Now, I've read that it comes with a certification certifying the type of meat it is. Now, for those who don't know what Wagyu is, it's a particular bread or breed of a type of cow and they are fed a certain diet 
to be able to get this type of marbling in, in the meats. So Ooh, did you get a personalized card? They sent us a card. Hello, Jason. Thank you for your order. We appreciate your business. Visit us again soon. And then handwritten. I hope you will enjoy this Miyazaki goo tenderloin. Thank you, Donna. Wow, fancy. Yeah, it is fancy. And here's certificate of authenticity. Traceability certificate genuine Wagyu beef. And then it says, this is the certified, the following beef is 100% traceability certified, genuine Mi Miyazaki, Miyazaki, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, Wagyu, and graded according to the highest standard required by J Japan Meat Grading Association. So, that's a... Uh, it gives you, yeah, come, come around over here. Gives you a carcass number, 8956, carcass weight, the uh, cow was 1123, uh, grading A5, um, I don't know what all these are, harvest date, fabrication date, so on June 2nd is, I'm assuming, when they butchered the cow or killed the cow, fabrication date would be butcher, I'm assuming. Uh, cattle if anybody ID. knows, you can let us know. You need farmers. Yeah, <laughs> let us know it, down yeah. in the description. The breed or in the comments. is Japanese black. Um, gives you uh, the birth date of the cow, which was September 9th, 2017. Uh, Age at harvest, 32 months. 32 months, which is quite a bit because in America, they. The beef you buy in Walmart, those cows are probably no more than six months, maybe nine months old, from what I've read. Maybe somebody can let us know down in the comments again. Well, what is this, a picture of our meat? Um, I don't know. What's that? Um, the hoof print. Fancy, I don't know, this is uh, some fancy stuff here. And then it says, the above information can be verified by accessing the following website and input the cattle ID number. <laughs> Japan Carcass Verification Bureau at, and then it gives you like a website to visit. The most trusted brand in Japan. That's, that rhymed. Uh, Miyazaki Gu Gayu. <laughs> uh, they have a website, myuzakigayu.com. So, that's pretty Fancy. cool. Meat that comes with a certificate. That's like... <laughs> it should for what we paid. That is fancy. And then a shipping label. Now, I know a lot of you, like I said, $1,200 for steak is a lot of money. This is eight pounds of premium Wagyu filet. So we're so. going to get a lot of meals out of this. Yes. And we'll, we'll break it down of uh, how many steaks we get out of this entire thing. This looks like just a lot of information about the certificate and grading, how it's graded. And beef color standard, firmness and texture, all that good stuff. Uh, criterias that are required to be met to be A5. So, thank you for purchasing official grading sheet. Yep, gives you an official grading sheet of how they grade it. So, I want to see the meat. I want to see the meat. So, of course, this is food. So, they do pack it I'm assuming Sour with dry foam. ice. I'm assuming too, hopefully. I do feel something cold in there. My gosh, I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. <laughs> let us see, let us see. <laughs> wow, that's a big piece of meat. That is a big filet. Well, it's a tenderloin, tenderloin, which is what fillets are made out of. Right. right? I mean, they're cut from a tenderloin and right. make a fillet. Right. Well, let us see it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's do that again. Ah. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Product of Japan. I mean, so 1200 bucks for this big thing. You know how many steaks we're going to get out of this? Quite a bit. And it looks like it, it is vacuum sealed in this package. 
Man, I'm almost scared to cut it open. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, how was it packaged? Okay, <clears throat> so just to show you how it's packaged, they've got all these, um, they're actually ice packs. Ice in packs, here. yeah. Wow, nice. Uh, we'll probably put some of those in the freezer and keep them. Yeah, they put a bunch of them in there and then they use this mylar type of insulated bag thing, so. Nice. And those ice packs are still pretty frozen, so. They are, they, uh, inside of it, uh, it's really <clears throat> hard. Slab it on the table here. Gosh, I didn't think it would be that fat. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be like maybe That's about that big. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. This looks like a, like a moisture pack. Wow, that's huge. Isn't it? Yeah. It'll I mean, be, for 1200 bucks, I mean, you would think. It'll be interesting to see once we do slice it into fillets, the actual marbling. I mean, you can already see, I don't know if it picks, it's gonna pick up on camera, but I was trying to get where you could see some of the marbling. But that's the thing with Wagyu, it's a very it's marbled with fat, like Jason said, but it's really like good. really good Wagyu, it just melts in your mouth. Like you could see all the fat lines right there. I wonder if I'm gonna have to trim this. <laughs> you better start doing some more research. Holy cow. <laughs> Before like we it end. did not look like this on their website, so. I'll post a picture up right here of what the cut looked like on their website. I'll post a picture because you know who's editing this video. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get on the internet right now and search how to trim or cut a tenderloin. We should probably put this in the fridge. All right, so what we're gonna do is Jason is gonna do some research on the best way for us to trim this, if we need to trim it, how to cut it into portions. And then we'll come back, we'll show you how, we're, how we do that and how we are gonna prepare it to store it in our fridge and freezer. So we are gonna have to trim this and that's kind of what I assume because I've never seen a filet mignon that fat. <laughs> so there is gonna be some extra meat that we have on this that we will save and we will probably grind up into hamburger meat and make hamburger out of. But we're gonna attempt to trim this up. I've already watched a really good video on YouTube on how to do it and look simple enough. We need to uh, trim off uh, the silver skin and separate the loin from the, the back or something like that, so. <laughs> we're real educated. Yeah we're, yeah, we're real educated. But we are doing this on the kitchen or the dining room table. We got these cutting sheets. They're, what are those, babe? They're just cutting mats. Cutting mat. It's like a cutting board. They're just thinner. It's a thinner. mat. Thinner, yeah. Instead of a board, it's a mat. I'm using gloves because I want to keep this nice and clean as possible. But this fat, oh my god, it's so like slimy. I'm kind of bummed that we have to do this because I thought it was going to come pre ready. And then just cut it to fillets or Yeah. Whatever. So I found... The chain. It's called the chain. It's called the chain. And this is peeling right off. I uh, may have to do a little bit of cutting. And there's still a lot of meat in there like they were showing in the video. But if you look at the meat, look at the marbling in that meat. Those white, all that those white lines. I don't know if that focused really well, but. We're gonna take this membrane off. Yeah, you know this, I'm kind of bummed that you have to do this to this. So we're definitely gonna save all this fat cause that is some really good stuff right there. I mean, just look at this. 
Yeah, keep it on when you cut it up. Yeah, we'll keep that on. I'm trying to find the silver back. Silver skin. Silver skin. Which I believe is right there. Yeah, that's, there's that silver skin. Want to make sure we get all that off. Yeah, I see it now. You yeah, because according to what we've watched and researched is that silver skin part will never tenderize. It'll just always be tough, so you want to remove it. Yeah, that, that silver skin will never tenderize. Wait, that looks like a lot of wasted beef right there. So we save that beef and get that. What's that silver on back? <laughs> That's not silver skin, is what they call when it. When the lion's hungry, he eats. Screw it. We gotta get this small piece. Yeah, it definitely would have been nice for twelve hundred dollars as to already be trimmed. <laughs> well, I think for the money you want all the extra stuff. Yeah. You know, you got you want all that extra fatting to do different cooks with. Um, we definitely will be. And this isn't something a typical regular consumer just goes and buys. I mean, I'm sure they sell to restaurants, high-end restaurants, and... I would think so, yeah, because... Yeah. I mean, not everybody's a butcher. <laughs> right. I don't know what they're Especially thinking. Especially not you. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting it. We're getting it. This is the whole loin that we want, so... I'm probably doing this. I'm, I'm sure there's a butcher out there or ex-butcher <laughs> who is just cringing at what I'm doing right now. Be kind in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> hey, believe me, this is going to be the best cut of meat we've ever had. I know I've told a couple friends already that we did this and they think we're absolutely nuts. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching too that think we're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a little nutty, right? I think we got it pretty cleaned up pretty good. I don't want to take too much of this fat away. Normally you would on a filet mignon just because that's why people like a filet is because it's tender and not fat but that's why you get a a5 wagyu steak is because of the fat so i mean look at look at my gloves just from doing <laughs> that that's all just oily fatty yeah i'm gonna have to go to class on how to but we're gonna cut it up right now we're gonna make some steaks we're probably gonna from this section make steaks and then i don't know we may do something with this little fin tail end but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut right here and I, oh my gosh look at that marbling show the camera can you see that look at that marbling wow that looks delicious it's gonna be good you could cut all that into filet. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're cutting that into... <laughs> we're gonna cut... We'll have to cook these sideways instead of up. But yeah, we're cutting... So it's gonna be a two inch steak this way. What? Wait, so wait. we're gonna make it... Or, you Why know what we can do? cut like here, here. So this is the whole filet. I don't know. I'm not an expert. No. Wow, that looks like a pretty good filet to me. Yes, ma'am. And you, you know one thing about what we've learned from the time when we went and had dinner and had this was it doesn't take a lot. No, it fills you up. It's so fatty and that fat is so filling, 
that normally if you could eat a 10 ounce steak, you couldn't with this. Oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. <laughs> that marbling. Now when you cook that, all of that fat renders down and melts. And then when you take a bite into this. Oh, it melts in your mouth. It's like butter. It's like butter infused inside the meat. It's just so amazing. And we are going to cook two of these this weekend and film yes, we it are. On yes, the, we are on the Ranger. So now that's this weekend for us. You right, guys may right, have to right. wait a week. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is a little teaser video. Yeah. For y'all to think we're to... absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all a little crazy. A little I'm not crazy. Deni I'm not denying I'm my calling, craziness. I'm calling claims on that one. Those are huge, babe. You're gonna have to cut those. In. That's well. What we'll that's do. That's not a host day. We gotta cut that because that's too big. Well, what we'll do is <laughs> we'll we'll freeze dry or uh, vacuum seal one of these by themselves. These two big ones because we'll share that. Yeah. I'll just cook, cook one the whole steak. Thing and we'll cut yeah, it. and we'll cut oh, okay. it, and okay. we'll both eat off of it. That makes sense. Maybe I should go make a couple little smaller ones. Yeah, right? we need some. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I'm, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this, you guys. Look at that marbling. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate to And pull. I know there's probably some people that don't like fatty meats, but this is a, this is not the fat like the on a grisly, regular steak. No. The no. chewy, no, this is melt in your mouth. This may become a, a once every five year tradition for us. <laughs> yeah. I might take it to the butcher and have them do it though. I'm probably not doing this meat any justice, but. All right, we're going to vacuum seal this. So. All right, we got the big one, big Mac Daddy one. It's probably a little dark there. All right, first one in. This is the first time using this thing, so I don't know how to do it. So we open it up. Okay. Open a pines and place open and a bag into vacuum channel. Is that this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then close the lid. Close the lid. And then vacuum. <laughs> For us to operate. All right. Uh, both indicator lights turn on. Once the lights has been pushed all the way down, press the vacuum button to begin vacuum in the process. Ooh. Hope y'all can see this. motor will continue to run until the bag is fully vacuumed and then will automatically seal when seal indicator light stops flashing and becomes consistent. Slide latch to open and lift back. So see it's blinking. So it's sealing it right now. Mm. Ooh, ah. All right, so it's solid. Open it up. Ew. Bam! Sealed. Then we will freeze these, except for the ones we're cooking tomorrow, of course. Yeah. So let's, we got to so, get going. Let's yeah, get going. Let's we got it. we got a bunch to do. <laughs> Hopefully, we got enough bags. I got a bunch. I like this vacuum sealer because I was thinking not we bought it for this purpose, but we could use it. For, is that just one in that? Yep. Uh, we're gonna do two in the next one. But we can use it for other meats that we buy, like at Whole Foods and stuff that they just put in a brown package. Nope, that's silver back. Okay. What is it called? <laughs> silver skin. Silver skin. Take your gloves and start putting this up in the freezer. Yep. Except for the ones we're going to cook. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways, we could have put this in a quart size bag, pint size bag. This is what we'll make burgers out of. When we buy a meat grinder. Well, doesn't your mom have a meat grinder? She might somewhere. She's like the QVC queen, she, wasn't she? Yeah, she's got. The the but the thing is, is like being able to find it if she even has it still. Yeah. Like literally, this would be enough for a meal for us, though. 
Well, there you go, it, guys. We have a twelve hundred dollar steak. How many steaks did we get total? Did you oh, count? let's count real quick. <laughs> I didn't true. even count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven steak. Oh, and one in the fridge. Well, but some one of those are the a whole steak, which is two. So but the, each bag is set up for a single portion or double portion yeah for us so we could cook one bag and both be able to eat off that so, one bag so we got 12 meals oh because uh, we got yeah. one in the fridge yeah yeah and then we got that the two big bags that we're going to grind into hamburger meat yeah i'm excited oh my gosh this so better be good for the amount of money we bucks. oh my gosh so it's so hard to find out. restaurants that have this quality steak and that's why we ordered it 12 meal well that's 100 bucks a meal because we paid 1200 dollars. Right. it was 11.99 well, actually it's a little less than that because we've got the whole big thing to make hamburger meat out of too we do but, but nice just the fillets. really just the fillets we have a hundred bucks of steak per meal yeah which is so. like 50 bucks a steak for a5 wagyu which we when we get steaks at whole foods filet mignon we usually pay we could get four steaks usually and it's not about 60 bucks yeah so it's yeah it, it's expensive cut of meat it is but if you've seen all the that marbling that stuff is going to render down and cook into the meat and it's just going to explode in your mouth when you take a bite <laughs> this juicy flavorful melt in your mouth deliciousness yeah. so Which we're going to do a video showing you when we grill yeah, I am going to grill one on the Traeger, the Traeger Ranger. You're going to grill two, one for each of us. Well, we, we got one big one yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, we're going to share. Cause... We're going to share. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I know. I, hey, I, all you haters, I don't even care. <laughs> I say, be nice in the comments. Like don't Jason said, care. this is basically our anniversary gift to ourselves, to ourselves. this year. Yep. Instead of going out to a fancy restaurant like we usually do, we bought the the whole tenderloin. 12 meals. Yeah, we bought 12 what? meals. We did buy 12 meals. We yeah. bought 12 meals, so now we got to get out and earn it. Yeah, <laughs> we're at home right now. If you can't tell, we're in the Airstream. So, yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. That's Hope it. you enjoyed it. And we just wanted to share that with you. Yeah. Jason was really excited about it. I was it, really so. excited about it. Yeah. All right, let's end it. All right. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all kinds of horror movies right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> $1,200 down the drain. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe we should title this video Watch Numbskulls Butcher uh, Expensive Piece of Meat. <laughs> right? Uh, expensive Piece of Meat Fail. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah.